Hello. Water signs. Y'all are fucking last. Congrats. We always save the best for last after all. And that'd be you guys. So no worries after all, right? Right. Welcome to your Shadow of Judgment. This is the weekly read for what goes on in all four corners. What goes around the circle as well as goes on outside the circle. What's in the shadows. What she might not know about. What might be your subconscious. What might happen that you don't know is happening. You know. And this is for the week of, well, technically today. But, also, but we'll say tomorrow as well. Like the 20th, 21st to the 27th. Of September, right? Now, water signs. Your card is the King of Cups Reverse. Which is very much your element. Of course, we also have two other cards here. And it's like, mmm. But we're not going to count these. These don't matter, right? But that's the card you got so far. Water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Just boop your nose on the way it goes. Right? Right. Cancer, you're up first. You got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So you, mm. What up, Cancer? Why do you feel that way? Oh, because you're burdened. Okay, you feel broke because you're burdened. I feel like that's more in a spiritual sense than it is, like, physical. Like, maybe you do have money, but you don't feel happy with yourself. You feel empty. You feel like, you know, there's more to life and, like, you're bored with it and you cry a lot. Well, I mean, like, you guys cry a lot anyway, but, like, you actually feel like crying more than usual. Like, you, you're well past your quota for the fucking month. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're looking for a reason to stay, too, and that's part of the burden. And you're just feeling really empty with this new cycle right here that's going on. Right? This burden, something's going to change with it really quick, and you... What the fuck is that? Like, why are you messing with, like people who are bad. Like, you're looking for a reason to stay in a situation that wasn't good for you? Like, cause, uh, okay, number one, this shit's over. Like, the devil's reversed. Could've been with a Capricorn, right? But that shit's done. It's over with. It's in the reverse. Like, that connection's no more, but you're still looking for a reason to stick around with it. So that's confusing. Like, like, you want to stay attached, despite the fact you're not anymore. Um, then we have the Ten of Swords over yonder. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I, I think I understand it now. Alright. You feel like... Yeah, okay. You feel like you wanted to stick around in a relationship that turned toxic and ended. And you look back on that. And I don't think you look back on it in like that crazy psycho way I like to say a lot of the time. No, you're looking back on this like, um, it meant something to you. Like, you don't feel like yourself with the Nine of Pentacles up here. Like, you might have stuff around you, but it doesn't feed you in the way you need to. And going into a new cycle or how the cycle ended, you felt betrayed with what it was that made you secure. But, like, you wanted to stick around a relationship that turned bad for you, that ended before it got to its worst point. And you're looking back on that and kind of realizing that, and you still feel like you were a little bit secure in it. Um, you're very much burdened, but, like, something's gonna change where you can manifest something, and that's possibly to have some clarity or some truth of mind. So what is it that you want to fucking say, dude? What do you want to say? Because the one thing I've noticed about y'all cancers is, like, sometimes you guys just don't come out and say shit. And then when you do, you say it all wrong, or you say it sideways, and then people are just like, wait. 
Hold on, what? Why would you? Okay, whatever. It's like listening to a Libra insult you. A little bit. Like I have a dad who's a Libra, so don't mind me. Uh, someone manifested something really badly, possibly against the King of Pentacles who rubbed a pentacle on a bison. <laughs> <laughs> like this king of pentacle gave this pentacle that the like imagine these are the same pentacles right he rubbed it on the bison and then gave it to this magician and now the magician's pissed at the smell like what the fuck <laughs> i always think that it's like he's rubbing it on the bison just as an insult to somebody right before he gives it to him in this deck and now the magician's all pissed that that's what he's gotten like he doesn't even like it it's like it's like probably the farthest tool away from him right now other than the wand and he's just like he can still smell it and the king of pentacles is just like <laughs> here bitch you know like someone did like rub something in your face or use something to make you feel like you don't want it anymore so now you're just pouring there's the king of cups again you're just pouring that cup out being like fuck this I will crush you. What the fuck did I name that lizard? God damn it. I totally forgot what I named the lizard. But it's the same lizard. I'm just gonna say Fred for now, because I don't remember. It was probably Fred. But I don't remember, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, someone feels like, fuck this, and then they want to crush the lizard with the king of wands. Uh, easily could be someone with a lot of fire in their turn. Right? Um, they're sick of what they're being given. It's like too much. It's like, you know, um, eating ice cream on the hour every hour for three days straight. And like a shit ton of ice cream and to the point where you're just like you're sick of the fucking ice cream and they're still bringing it to you It's just like this is enough. I will crush you like the lizard you are But that's your shadow cancer. I, I, I feel like you're still kind of You need to take the energy of what like I feel like some of y'all are just hung up on somebody you really cared about But I also feel like you weren't able to complete something with them. Whatever it was. But that's your shadow. Alright, Scorpio, you're next. Let me just get all these cards up. I am the Janita. La 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 la. Or whatever. Right? Right. Okay. Scorpio, it is your turn. Let's see what your weeks looking like. Yes? Yes. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. Scorpio! And what do we have for your shot of this week? Nothing happening. Okay. Nothing's turning for ya. Cause someone got caught up in that bullshit. Someone did a whole 360 and went back on their bullshit, huh? <laughs> trying to get a victory or charge ahead with the chariot right let's see um, you a cancer or a Pisces might not have offered your love and there's a cancer over here as well um, this person got caught up in their bullshit like they didn't get a victory in this shit and trying to charge ahead is turning out to be more of a fight than what you thought it would be right um, you might be going into introspection while you're trying to avoid looking at trying to offer your cup up. Something doesn't feel like it's complete. There's a lack of closure in this shit. Um, someone might want to take off somewhere. Da da. Da da. Okay. Scorpio. Um, your wheel of fortune, you feel like there's nothing moving for you? But that might be a result of you just not, like, really offering your love, your emotions, just your cup in general to anybody because you're too busy being introspective about what happened back in the day because you want to make sure you're secure about something. However, this makes moving forward very difficult as you're trying to fight your way forward just to leave with the bare minimum, right? Because, you know, you're very much tethered to your securities. You want to go, but you're not really 
you're kind of holding back a little bit just from looking at back like everything is just facing this way out with this row of cards it's like you're so hung up on the past but you're also focused on the future but that's also got you really fucking um confused about what kind of choices to make because you don't want to be caught up in your bullshit you don't want to feel like you know you're not a victor in any of this and you sure as hell don't want to leave with a lot of lack of closure like you like it's like you're confused about how to close things out properly with everybody and everything and and just uh, fucking leaving because it's just like god damn it i know everybody in this motherfucker you know You know, like you just want to leave in in a hurry, just in a huff, like a diva. But it's like, hmm, hmm. Oh, that's not something adverse. Hmm. I'll check it. Let us. Uh, what is this shit that's securing you, Scorpio? Exactly. Um, you feel like you didn't, you shared your failure with somebody else. That's one thing. Just not caring about that. Hmm. You like. You feel like Saint, like Archangel Michael just decided to fucking drop you with, with the Acme Looney Tune sound effects, and just be like, you know what, you're not going either. Like I'm just gonna stop playing my doot to doot. You know, um, you might feel like someone might want to preach to you more than anything, show you a good book in order to like get you to heal yourself up and drop those swords. Uh, but then you go back right back to your bullshit. I'm, uh, one more. Why do you go back to your bullshit? Because you kind of... Okay, Scorpio. It'd be a good idea to avoid trying to go for, like, what will feed you now instead of actually investing in everything that's around you. It's like you take your one pentacle that isn't even the best pentacle and you leave the rest to fucking rot, right? And that's like, it, it almost ends up poisoning your land because of it. Like, I want you to be very careful in what it is you decide to do. Don't go drinking your own bullshit. Don't drink somebody else's wine and then think that water is a good substitute for it. Cause then you're gonna end up like robbing someone to get their wine just to replace the wine and it's not even just as good wine you know but it's not like that really matters because wine is kind of like a scam anyway but that's that's beside the point i'm just talking nonsense but that's your week be very careful of that scorpio that is a possibility all right pisces last but not least it is your turn so what's going on for your Shadow Pisces. What are you crazy little alien people doing today? Well, more like fish people. Aquarius are more like aliens, but that's beside the point. Let's see. Oh, somebody's sleeping. <laughs> okay, well, that was quick. Okay. Somebody's snooping on the Empress. Ooh. Is someone looking at you like you're a nasty person just ready to strike you with your sword with their sword? That's kinda gross. Like there's gonna be blood everywhere, like shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, fair balance and treatment and shit. Oh my. This person is going to come up like a friend at a party or some shit. What? Dude. That's a lot of Libra energy right there, right? I'm just slaying them out because I'm like just trying to figure out the story real quick. So just give me a second. Because yours is interesting, Pisces. Hmm. All right, let me look at this. Oh, 
Okay, Pisces, check this out, right? Because I think this is a raggedy motherfucker. All right, this person snooping for any way that they can smear some shit, right? About some sort of like party or whatever. Like they they want to stipulate that something happened at a party in order to cause somebody to split so they can be booty card man, right? Like because they think that this person should be um. Oh my god, cards. They think that this person should be giving more to them other than this person because they have red in their pocket, right? They think that's a just thing to do, but they don't know how to accomplish that shit in order to be booty man card, right? And they're looking at this empress. They want her to walk away because she's too insecure because everything seems like too much of a burden. And they themselves are burdened because they don't know what options to take to become booty card man to cause all of this nonsense to happen. Oh my god. Okay. Yours is crazy this week. Like, someone might be doing some, like, insane shit. Just to get some booty. Like, not... I don't even know if they want to keep the booty. Like, <laughs> they just want to cause something to separate a little bit, you know? But that's what I got from this. It was just kind of like, what? Let's see. Yeah, they want somebody to really separate. Do people actually care about each other? That's kind of crazy. And... This is like, they have nothing to lose in this situation. It's just like, fuck it, I can only gain from here. Like, like if I die, I die. It's just like all or nothing energy. They don't even want to send any sort of peace signal. Ooh, they just want to aim their sword deadly like... Ooh. Just, yeah. Um, whoever this is, this could be an air sign. Oof. I really hope that's not bad. That's really big. Um, could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? Who might be doing this shit, or just somebody with that in their chart. Somebody who's really, like, talkative, likes to spread gossip, might even start rumors, I feel like, about, like, this whole Three of Cups scenario, just to cause a lot of fucking damage between two people. So I would suggest being very careful of that. Hmm. And this right here, I don't know if I like this, because it's just like... It's kind of confusing, because a magician meant for the sword to hurt somebody, and then like, it's like... It hurt somebody enough to where like, they walked away forever. But they're acting like they're still triumphant about it, even though it bothers them. But that was our intention to the, in the first place. Like, they're both doing the exact same thing. So I don't know why... Well, maybe the, since the uh, Magician Reverse is present, he's facing forward, it's for the present. But in the future, it's like they're going to end up regretting it, I feel like. I don't know. But, Water Signs, that's the end. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, subscribe. And that's what you want to do. No big deal. I'm not worried, but I would greatly appreciate it, of course. If you want a personal read... Info's in the description box below, as well as where I list music or whatnot. I will talk to you guys later. Love your faces. Bye-bye.